Well, here we're going to share the word of the week and the, the phrase actually I have for you is to reclaim the ground. As you know, a couple of weeks back, we talked about taking up arms and I think it's really helpful if we know what that meant. I think for some of us during the COVID period, we have come into new territory, haven't we? We've grown in the Lord. We've, we've seen the fruit of that time where we've spent with him, but others, uh, some of us may have lost ground over this time. Perhaps you've been distracted. Perhaps um, you've had trials going on in your life and you feel felt like you've lost some territory in some way. Well, actually, we need to take up arms, obviously. Uh, well, remember, the battle is the Lord's, but we want to reclaim that ground. But not only that, we want to enter into new territory to be the person that God wants us to be. So we need to reclaim the ground and enter into new territory. In Ephesians chapter 4, it says, In your anger, do not sin. Do not let the sun go down while you're still angry. And do not give the devil a foothold. In some of the translation, actually New King translation, it says, Nor give place to the devil. And that word place means a portion or a space marked off or a surrounding inhabited place as a city, a village, or a district. So what he's saying here is that we can, by our actions, or by our lack of action, should I say, give place, give an area uh, to the devil. So we want to be able to reclaim that ground that we may have lost throughout this COVID period, but also to take new territory. Let me just give you some helpful examples for this. Maybe you've lost the love that you had at first for Jesus. Now, I very much feel like that. So what can I do to do to reclaim the ground? So one of the easy things is to spend more time in his presence, put on worship music and bask in his presence and get to know him again and, and use those areas. We talked about that being silent, not being afraid of that time with him Maybe you lose your temper, you know, maybe you, this, you've become frustrated with this whole thing and fearful uh, and you get snappy. Well, how can we reclaim the ground? By being kind, by exchanging the, those angry responses with kind responses. Maybe you don't share your faith as much as you used to, or maybe you felt that you, you don't share your faith at all. How can we reclaim the ground? By starting up a conversation with someone. Maybe there's sin in your life that keeps rearing its ugly head. Um, and when these moments come, it's good to remember to reclaim the ground, saying things like, Satan, you have no power over me and I choose to serve and honour the Lord. Uh, maybe someone's hurt you uh, and, and you're, holding on to, you're, you're holding on to resentment and you refuse to forgive them. So that's a, an area where the enemy can creep in and take ground. How important it is for you then to forgive that person and to exchange those feelings of resentment with nice thoughts. Sorry, that's my phone going off there. Thank you, Karu. So it's important to forgive. That's a way of reclaiming the ground. Maybe you've allowed the past to, to dictate your future and to take back the ground by saying no more. No more I choose to be the man or the woman that God intends me to be. He's got a purpose for me. And the one thing I don't do is look back, but I look forward and press on to the goal that is set before me. Maybe you, you think of a time where you were most full of faith, most full of love, uh, with zeal for the Lord. That's a place that you want to get to. But actually, we don't want to stop there, do we? We want to not only reclaim the ground that we've lost, but to move into new territory with the Lord, to be the person that God wants us to be. So think of practical ways that you can begin to reclaim the ground that you've lost. And that takes time. And remember, there's no condemnation for those in Christ Jesus. Sometimes we may take one step back, but it's time to take two steps forward and to begin reclaiming that ground. Think of ways in which you can practically start to do things to reclaim the ground that you lost, but also let's move, especially through this Christmas time and into the new year, let us move into new territory where we will grow exponentially for the Lord.
Reclaim the ground, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen.